everyone. Welcome to XX Mouse Potato Kitchen. So this is my first video ever. So bear with me. This may not be the best one. First one was kind of a test, but I like how it turned out. So here we go. So today, since we're Halloween, we're going to do two pumpkins. Um, so we're going to wash them, oil them, cook them, take the seed out and cook some pumpkin seed and the end results will be some nice and smooth pumpkin puree so first thing i do here if you see me move a little bit i'm gonna wash the pumpkins so you need to wash them correctly because it, it grows in nature so it's dirty you see here i made that stain disappear so yeah wash the pumpkin it's important wash it truly make sure that you look if there's any issue with the pumpkin and if you notice any make sure to remember because after it's cooked it's possible that this area will not look pretty cooked either and you need to throw away that part but everything else will be cool so once they're fully washed what you'll need to do is you'll need to put some oil on them so dry them to make sure that they are fully dry because otherwise oil won't stick to it because water and oil they don't they don't go together we know that it's science <laughs> so yeah put them into um oven safe container cookie plate cake plate anything that it fits in that you will be able to remove it from the oven easily and then you put whatever oil of your choice i've used peanut oil and either you take a brush to slightly brush it on it or you drizzle it on it with the oil container and then massage it into the pumpkin after so here you see i'm drizzling it on the pumpkin making sure that there is enough and if there is any excess it will go into the plate below so that's fine so yeah you put on a little bit of oil massage it in uh you want to make sure that you already preheated your oven to 350. so once your oven is preheated and the oil is on the pumpkin you put it into the oven for an hour. So once the butter knife can stab into the pumpkin easily and come out, you know that the pumpkin is cooked. Once the pumpkin is cooked, uh, I've lost that footage, unfortunately. But as you can see here, my pumpkin is cut in four parts. So what I did is I took the butter knife. I could have used a sharper knife, but I took the butter knife and I cut my pumpkin in four water so that the heat can get out easier so i let it cool down for a few hours and then you see i put the seed on one container and i put a pumpkin on another one and in a third container that you can't see which is my compost bin i put all of the strings and all of the skin because i don't want it so you basically just use your end and peel out the skin and remove all the seed and the string and some parts can be harder than others uh, some pumpkins are a lot easier you can use a spoon as well some people prefer to do it as with a spoon i prefer doing it with my end as you can see i think it's faster it's easier and yes it's messier but like pumpkins are messy so why not so yeah uh once everything is remove from the pumpkin and put in separate pot you can start processing it um this will take a while okay once you're done you will take all of the nice pumpkin and you will put that into um food processor you put that into a food processor until it looks smooth i forgot to record um that part because yeah <laughs> i forgot to record that part but i'll show you the result here we go it looked like this uh really smooth it really good you can season it the way you want it um and then it's ready to make whatever food you plan to do with and it's really good here's the recipe for those who want to screenshot it now what to do with the pumpkin seed well first thing you need to wash them really truly make sure that there's no orange bits left and i already did that part here 
And you need to make them dry. You need They need to be dry because, again, oil and water does not mix. So if you put oil on them, it's just going to go it's just gonna go away. It's not going to stick. So you, my trick is to put them on a dish coat like this and to let them dry over a few hours. And I put another one to remove the excess water on top. And that's when I realized that my two dish clothes were not the same size. <laughs> but yeah, try and take two dish cloths that are approximately the same size, remove the water as much as you can. And once it's completely dry, uh, you're going to be able to season it. Uh, what I did for my seasoning this time is I had some barbecue maple um, spices. So that's what I've put with a little bit of salt. And honestly, I should have put more salt. I put more salt at the end uh, once they were fully cooked. So here, those are the spices I use, oil and salt. So you coat the seeds uh, with oil, but you don't want to put too much oil. So that's why I did it in a separate container so that the excess oil would not be in the cooking pan so they don't burn. So you put the oil, you put the seasoning and the salt, and you make sure that all of the seeds are coated nicely with the seasoning so that it tastes good and you can put basically anything you want and just make sure that if you use any seasoning that has paprika that you watch your seed um, closely because paprika have a tendency to make things get golden faster so they might burn if you don't do it carefully so just like mix it here i noticed that i didn't have enough so i added more a few times and when I was ready, I put them into a cooking sheet and put them into the oven for, well, the first 10 minutes is, like, you put it for 10 minutes and then you move them around and then you watch every five minutes. Otherwise, you might burn them. So, yeah, you place them evenly and a cooking sheet. You can cover it with parchment paper if you're worried of it sticking. Uh, mine didn't stick, um, but depending on the seasoning you put, so for example, you do something that is more sweet, that has brown sugar or maple syrup on it, um, then I highly recommend to put parchment paper so that when it caramelizes, it doesn't caramelize at the end of the pan and you're not able to remove it. So yeah, once it's on the plate, put it into the oven. And it should come out looking like this. Nicely golden, well seasoned. And I added more salt, like I said at the end, because I didn't put enough. Uh, make sure that if you use um, table salt, that you don't put too much, because it will taste like salt. But I've used kosher salt. So I had to put more. And here's the recipe for those who want it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. And my next video should be out in a week. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Remember to follow me also on Twitch, Twitter. I have a Discord for those who want to join. And yeah, nice to meet you all. Bye bye.